But we are glad that you're here today on this Palm Sunday as we celebrate the entrance of our Lord Jesus into the city of Jerusalem and we prepare our lives once again to do what we have been doing for centuries, and that is celebrating the Holy Week, the last week of our Lord's life before He goes to His voluntary passion on the cross. It is a particular joy of mine to be able to speak to you today about what I believe is sorely needed in our world today, the concept of peace, internal peace, not the peace that all too often passes for peace as if there was the whole point of peace is the absence of conflict. Folks, let me disavow you of that foolish notion right now. Peace is not the absence of conflict. It's not. Peace is not the absence of conflict. If you're going to have peace in your life, if you're going to have the peace that Jesus Christ gives us, it's going to be a peace that the, that the, the, the Scripture declares passes understanding. And as we see our Lord Jesus entering into the city of Jerusalem today and the people rejoicing, you know the fickleness of the crowd because the very crowd that is rejoicing with Him today and saying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They're even using the Hebrew word Hosanna. Which the reason why we don't translate Hosanna is because we, it means about three or four paragraphs worth of stuff. So we just simply say Hosanna. It's like amen or hallelujah. It's just easier to say the shortcut. So they cry out Hosanna, which literally is a symbol and is literally the sign that the Messiah was coming. The Jews that are around there recognize Jesus as the promised Messiah of the Jews. And so they cry out Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Declaring Jesus the King. But by the end of this upcoming week, my angels... The very ones crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, will be saying, crucify him. So if we're going to have peace in our life that is more than just a token name of carrying the name Orthodox by the happy accident of your birth, then it is going to be as we take seriously and we embrace fully the mystery of peace that passes understanding. I was watching a movie the other day called Lucy. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. But it's a, it's a movie about this lady who gets in real trouble in China. And uh, they, uh, well, I won't go into it. But anyway, she, she gets exposed to a drug that lets her use 100% of her, her human brain. You know we humans only use, on every, even the, I mean, the really smart ones, Einstein, 20%. That's it. So we basically use 20% or less of our brain capacity, and I know some folks, especially politicians, who use even less than that. But this woman is exposed to this drug that gives her the ability to use 100% of her brain capacity. And it's fascinating to watch how they depict this because they depict this woman as being unable to be touched or affected by the circumstances around her. She's driving a car really fast through Paris and, and cars are flipping over and turning and she's dodging everything and she just got, oh yeah, just completely at rest. She's not disturbed by any external circumstance. Dear ones, you don't think Hollywood came up with that on their own, do you? Of course not. Thousands and thousands of years of Christian testimony talks about that the fathers of the church teach us that your purpose in your life and my life is to achieve what is called nepsis. Nepsis literally means sober joy. The gift that Jesus Christ begins to give us in his voluntary passion is the place in our life that no matter what is going on around us, we can be at rest. And the good news that Jesus Christ brings you today is that the turmoil that you, that you sense in your life 
the confusion that you sense in your life, the anger or the bitterness or the jealousy or the resentment that grips our lives too many times is when we allow external circumstances to seep into our souls and to affect how we choose to live our lives. Jesus Christ offers us a different path. Taking the faith seriously means that I understand that no matter what is happening to me in my life right now, Jesus Christ loves me. Jesus Christ has des destroyed that which that was meant to destroy me, and I'm going to live forever with him. And nothing will be able to destroy me because Jesus Christ has won the victory for us. The good news that is normal orthodoxy. I'm not talking about uh, the stuff that passes off as just going through the motions. I'm talking about an actual normal orthodox life is the good news that I can be at peace no matter what is going on in my life. That's the gift of a normal orthodox life. It's the purpose of why we do what we do, why we light candles, why we have icons, why the priest is dressed in vestments. It is all meant to convey to you and to me the purpose of living is to be living in relationship with God and be at peace no matter what is going on. And I know that some of you, and I know myself, you have or are or will go through hard times in your life, difficult times, scary times. What good is a faith if it doesn't give you strength in those moments? What good is you claiming to be orthodox if it doesn't give you grace in the midst of these trying times? My angels, I'm telling you, this is the beauty of Palm Sunday. The symbols of victory are ours today. If you're going through a tough time in your life right now, if you're going through a scary time in your life right now, if you're going through a confusing time in your life right now, no, beyond any shadow of a doubt, it happens to all of us. But the promise and the good news of Jesus Christ is that you can be at peace no matter what's going on because Jesus Christ has purchased that for you and has now given that to you through the gift of your communion with Him in His holy church. On this Palm Sunday, let us say with the thousands and millions before us, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I pray this was a blessing to you. If it is a blessing to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. It really does help us a great deal. Speaking of helping us, if you'd like to support this media outreach, go to our Patreon site at Faith Encouraged on Patreon.com. You can also visit us at our website at FaithEncouraged.org and write me at frbarnabas at FaithEncouraged.org. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.